Hello and welcome to the FWO website. After watching English English, we all know that Sri Devi is still quite an amazing discovery. Well, so is the debut writer director of the film, Gauri Shinde. Hi, welcome. It's a pleasure having you here. Thank you. And many many congratulations on making the film. It's a wonderful film. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah, it has been. It has been very overwhelming mm -hmm. and very touching. But uh, nobody expects. So, but at this level and all, I mean, I, I it's, it's a pleasant surprise. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us a little about a foray into writing as well. <laughs> Oh, uh, it's, it's, I think it's been there inside me. I mean, of course, uh, <coughs> this will be the first feature, but I've always been, um, uh, I've never always loved to write. And I used to write poems in school and um, short stories and stuff, or even short plays for the colony. I mean, whenever there was a festival, I'd write and uh, I'd even direct those uh, mm. uh, plays in our society. And poems and stuff, I mean, people in my college and school know that I used to uh, write and read out to them. But it was all on a very uh, private, uh, I mean, on a very domestic level, as in I didn't go print things or anything. And I was always inclined to that. And uh, therefore, uh, even when I was in college in order to do something with my time, uh, my, you know, I asked my dad, I need to start uh, doing some work. You know, this is. For some strange reason, I did commerce. This is one regret of my life. I should have done arts when I had got admission, but uh, all my friends went and did commerce, so I joined them. And, uh, <laughs> so my uh, dad uh, introduced me to advertising, and that's where I could write. I joined as a copywriter. So somewhere, you know, to to bring this aptitude of writing, he thought maybe you know this could be one way, and it's also a commercial thing. It's not like then paper like it. Mm -hmm. So that's where that started and then I did my main literature after uh, graduation because yeah. I missed doing yeah. art so I made up and that's where also I was writing and I used to write stuff for some college competitions and uh, you know, stuff like that. So it was there on a very small uh, sort of level and then copywriting so it Bunting. Sort of came and then I wrote my first short film which went to the Berlin International Film Festival which right. I shot in New York. When was this? This was in 2003 it went to. Mm -hmm. So that was my first uh, writing that became into something and went. How long film. was that film? It was a five minute film. Okay. Yeah. Called it was Oh Man. About? Oh Man. And it's about a man woman relationship. Alright. Yeah. Okay. And that's where. Uh, and then I, um, I would say that. Uh, uh, I did get inspired by watching Balki write, uh, you know, all of this and uh, he also started writing his feature much later. I mean, he's been mm -hmm. advertising, of course, he always had a dream of making a feature film. And, uh, and, I, and he always thought that I would uh, be making my feature first, right. but uh, since I was already a director. But that didn't happen because I never got a great idea until, uh, uh, good idea until now. But he got so... And then watching that, I'm like, oh, I could also do this. I could also actually write. Mm -hmm. That's where I. Uh, <laughs> what was the response from your mom? I believe that your mother is inspired this girl. Yes. My mom had tears in her eyes and she gave me a tight hug after the screening. Mm -hmm. And I think that said it all. <laughs> yeah. And I read about um, Ram Gopal Verma tweeting that, where are your feet? Please tweet your feet. <laughs> and uh, can I touch them? Then Amitabh Bachchan yeah, blogging. Just, yeah, the industry and uh, all these people, I mean, including Amit Ji, is, uh, they've been uh, very generous with their uh, compliments, I would say. <laughs> so I'm extremely grateful and extremely uh, very touched with uh, all that they, uh, these people are saying. No, but the film does merit such a response. Take us across the journey a little. It's actually not much of a, a difference in terms of because uh, when I wrote this and actually when, when the film begins, it's been um, the same, I mean for me, mm -hmm. same as in what I wrote has actually uh, happened. So there's not been that much of change in the process. So okay. what I envisioned and what I saw, it only got better with Sri Devi playing Shashi's role. So that's where it, it you know, it was uplifted. But in terms of the script and the way I saw it, it uh, has gone through uh, the way I had seen it. So that yeah. is very good. <laughs> yes. And had it been directed by someone else, it would have turned out? Uh, yeah, I think so. I think when you're the writer of your own uh, script and you direct it yourself, um, you're far clearer, you know what you want and 
you know what to do with it and then so it's the character because you've thought of it so ingrained in your head that um, there's no doubt about how which way you want it to go mm-hmm. so uh, it stays within your your mm-hmm. vision such a laborious process to write and i'm a director inherently i mean that's what i've been an ad film director so um, i would want to direct i mean i might direct somebody else's script but mm-hmm. if i'm writing it it is going to be something for myself to direct mm-hmm. Let's say Balki, given your subject, you would have preferred directing it, or do you prefer writing your own subject? Or no, like ad films are being written person. by uh, like people in the agency, and you you are directing yes. it. So yes. that is, that's why I said I'm inherently a director. So yes. I've been I've been interpreting other people's scripts right. uh, in advertising. Right. But uh, feature film, I don't know. I've done only one, so I don't know how it's going to be in the future, and whether I'll direct other people's scripts or I don't know. but it has to be something i can connect with and uh, you know and i need to be involved in that writing process so for instance you writing for balki or balki writing for you or something like that i think <laughs> especially that will work because uh, we think very uh, differently our processes of writing are different we may definitely exchange and bounce ideas and take each other's critique and input and vice versa for sure I mean, we do that all the time uh, but um, I don't know. I mean, I don't mind if he writes for me because he's a great writer. Mm-hmm. But uh, I wouldn't be able to write for him or for anybody because <laughs> if I write it, then I'll I'll just go direct it. You I said somewhere <laughs> in some interview that he is a better writer than you. Why did you say that? I think he is because uh, he's a writer at heart, and I've I've just uh, become I'm trying to become a writer because I don't have the discipline of a writer also to begin with. to uh, sit in one place and actually so I'm a very restless person so I'm more uh, more of a director and I think that's my training has been like that because I've been uh, directing you know far longer tell us about the process that you followed with because I assume that you must have followed a very instinctive uh, yes it is it is actually not it was so something uh, totally instinctive that's why I mean I didn't uh, didn't follow any rules as such or anything uh, I did read up um, uh you know and watched uh, some more films to just you know just you know if i got stuck as in the uh, red material on screen play or whatever to s- see how to move forward if right. i stuck or you know to like you know how the graph or whatever but more more than that i think it's influence of seeing so many films all through your life and the experience you go through and what just watching mm-hmm. you know so you know at what point you want to move forward in the story or you know and not make it wrong the rest of it as actually most of it has been instinctive uh, from the idea to when i just started writing when i just started so <laughs> i stumbled and uh, faltered as i went through with the first draft which i hated and mm-hmm. a lot of it i cut out and then i came to that so then it you know discipline happened only beyond the first uh, draft the first you know yeah. so the rewriting was the real absolutely right it is it is the real writing of the rewriting <laughs> there have been several drafts because uh, and also i took breaks between the drafts in the sense i went and did my ad films and came back and you give that time and come back and if you still like some of it then it's worth keeping if you hate it then it's, you just have to without thinking throw it and that's what i did mm-hmm. most of it i just delete <laughs> or put it in one bin that i could visit whenever uh, on the computer and उट Consciously, have you been uh, <coughs> uh, following any craft uh, otherwise besides that? Not really, not really. I am a fan of a few directors, uh, international ones and stuff, which I watch a lot of. I'm a big fan of Woody Allen, and I like that cinema a lot. You know, watch a lot of uh, like Satyajit mm-hmm. Ray and uh, so all kinds. Actually, I like watching all kinds of cinema. So all of that I have uh, somewhere as is there and. Um, I I don't know. I just when I had the idea, I took laptop, paper, pen, and just start. I said, "Chalo, at least let's start." So this friend of mine, Krishnan, who uh, 
you know, who assisted who assisted, him. Yeah. So he just sat there and he would type and uh, he would scribble and mm. it just began like that and then it got into some, you know, it took its own form of uh, a certain discipline and writing. And, no, I tried to know actually, no, I, uh, after I finished my uh, draft, first uh, two drafts, I did this Robert Mackey thing in yeah. uh, in the US, in New yeah. York, I must say, uh, say that. Story. But uh, that, uh, I didn't have to rewrite much after that, that gave me certain pointers to rethink and maybe re-edit a few things. Mm -hmm. But yes, that, that did help. Okay. Yeah. But other than that, no, no. <laughs> So would you would you be following any such thing now that you are one film gold and um, or do you want to continue your with your own? I might because I love uh, see uh, half the time I do these uh, courses or attend these things because I love <laughs> attending yeah. and going for this and just need one more excuse to to be part of it. It's just nice because you meet so many interesting people and I feel every little thing even if it's just going to a shop there's some learning there's something that happens that. Some new something experience. helps you, there's something just happened. So I think even that attending that Robert Mickey four day uh, workshop was uh, really interesting because that man himself is so interesting and he's such a, um, he's like a showman, you know, he's <laughs> on stage there and talking about script writing and same thing. So it's just lovely to, to yeah. be part of it. So I would love to. Uh, <laughs> it did not make you feel overawed, oh my god, this is like too much theory and I had not followed it in my script. Thankfully, I had already it. written. See, uh -huh. now if I had gone there before writing, yes. I maybe, I don't know how it would have been. I would have been mm -hmm. intimidating, oh my god, how will I ever write? There's so many rules and there's yes. plot point and this and that. And uh, I bought his big fat book also, which I haven't read. But that, that four day thing was actually very, uh, was interesting enough. and. Uh, so thank God I went there after writing and I think it's, it's advisable to do it after. You've written whatever rubbish it may be but... Yeah, during the rewrite. So somewhere it kind of aligns you in somewhere. So that was... You know the character Shashi comes across very very clear and every nuance is detailed. And uh, uh, not only because of Shri Devi's performance and her own touch also but because the character is somebody that a lot of people can relate to as well. Uh, where does that come from? I don't think as writers or filmmakers you have to be that person or have lived that character like Anurag Basu, I'm sure he doesn't have a handicap to be able to direct, you know, make a film or what he's observed people. Yeah, so it, it comes from, uh, sometimes you don't even need to like specifically observe, not all I'm writing this so I need to start observing women like that. I think it somewhere comes through the kind of life you've led and the experiences you have, somewhere you're absorbing all this. You are absorbing life, you are absorbing things you read, uh, watch, uh, experience, other people's lives. So, you know, and just, just inherent interest in people is, I mean, I have that. So, you know, to, to want to know more and um, and uh, also having lived uh, in a family that, uh, you know, somewhere where this inspiration came from is my mom. So, um, that's, I think that somewhere amalgamates into what you create. Mm. But in your uh, and your emotions are universal because this emotion you don't necessarily I mean even if I may be career driven you you are sensitive to so many other things you're still I'm I'm a wife and I'm a daughter and I'm a friend and I'm a sister so you are a lot of things yourself so you know so, as just as a human being I mean I don't have to do a thing but I'm still related to to the world I'm connected besides Shashi's character uh, none of the men have been. Uh, they are there and we know the purpose etc and we know what the husband is like but you have not gone deep into the relationship between Shashi and her husband or between Shashi and the French guy or with anyone else. Is there a reason for that or is it that you wanted to stay focused only on the English language bit? Or no, it's not even actually focusing only on the language bit. That's one part of the film. In fact, it's just 20 minutes of the entire film which is the, which is, uh, the classroom. See, it's a protagonist, is the is Shashi, so it has to be from a point of view. If mm -hmm. I start showing everybody else, the screenplay is going to be all over the place. I would have probably needed part one, part two if I have to uh, delve into each person's lives and that may not even be interesting. Mm -hmm. So uh, when I'm seeing from her point of view, you see as much information that's required from her point of view for, for you to get what it's all about. Anything beyond that and taking away from the main character is only going to be not interesting. Mm -hmm. So you see as much as necessary yeah. to see and as much as 
interesting. Yeah. I mean, even uh, the the romance angle. I don't know whether to call it romance, but the the French guy and her. There's just about enough, and yet there's so much chemistry, and yet you feel the 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 relationship there. Uh, you know, yeah. it was already there. Uh, mm -hmm. The relationships and the 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 kind of relationship and how much of it we showed is already on paper. Now what? The performances and how the scenes we created is what happened on on the shoot, but uh, the rest of it was already uh, there. Yeah. <laughs> have you had friends who have been to New York? Or have you been to New York uh, quite I a have, bit? Uh, I have studied yeah. there. I've lived there. I visit there. That's one of the reasons why I've shot there. Mm -hmm. uh, I visit that place every year. It's almost like um, you know some people go somewhere and Martha take care there. So I go to New York. <laughs> And uh, I think it's for a filmmaker of any creative person, it's a creative person's paradise because it's such a vibrant city with so much happening culturally and art-wise. Mm. It's uh, it's a lot like Bombay. Mm. Um, so it's a very, very, very interesting city. And um, going back to your question, which I forgot. So the was, coffee scene, coming back scene. to coffee scene. Oh. In that milieu. Yeah. In See, that if you time. visited, the, I mean, you don't yes. have to go through an exact experience. But uh, if anyone who's travelled abroad and uh, even been to a cafe or restaurant, it's an Indians by nature. We are a little uh, casual about these things. We're not so I mean, like so alert, you know. Like somebody else who told me about this, he said it's so true. This happens, you know. Even if you know English, you know there are ways and rules by the way those countries operate and their systems are, which are not the same. We'll go there and say, "Acha, are do chai, lao and bed de." You don't even say how are you. That's not part of our thing, you know, mm. to say namaste to everybody from the waiter to the owner right. of the restaurant. Right. But there you go and you have to say hello, how are you doing? And you say thank you. They may not pay attention to how you actually are, but it's 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 um, it's something they uh, say, you know, their thank yous and pleases are very there, which we are not used to. So it is intimidating uh, in any case and I have felt it myself the first time I was uh, ordering something and okay how are you and you know quickly in that speed time we have to like mm -hmm. quickly order stuff which you don't recognize so much mm -hmm. that's those are not menus that you used to see and uh, that's not the way you're used to in behaving you know and some hundred choices they have for, from starting from water to <laughs> you know what kind of sandwich so it can be as mind boggling especially someone who doesn't know English will the whole thing did you tell you, consciously work on that graph was just as a writer since uh, we are talking about the writing aspect more over here or did just kind of it just kind of built I don't know I mean I don't know how to because you know, we kind of yeah. uh, tend to in terms of writing and for this website we tend to dissect scene <laughs> writing and character and all that That's no no I know I understand <laughs> because I would be the same uh, and curious about when I want to because ask about somebody else but know, because it's such a simple Scene. And it's such a simple story and a simple character and uh, very very poignant moment. Yeah. So if you can just think about. I know, but it, the funny thing is, this particular scene, in fact, was um, uh, I wrote it very easily. One of the easiest scenes. I'm not trying to uh, uh, boast about, but that's how it happened because it's al almost somewhere true to an experience I had almost. Like at least quarter of that experience I've had, I've not got running out crying, but and to imagine my mother in that place or anybody mother who so you know first time abroad and then uh, this whole uh, intimidating atmosphere and one fat fat English speaking woman and that kind of thing. So just it just it it flowed actually for me, you know, mm -hmm. somewhere. And of course, Sri Devi brought it to such Absolutely. what a uh, what she's given to that scene is unbelievable. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, also to. I didn't want to and I never wanted to portray uh, Westerners and Americans in a bad light because what we tend to do usually is when we want to show ourselves in better light and do a yay moment mm -hmm. we want to portray the other person and I didn't want to do that and that's why I don't know if anyone noticed but in the beginning I had a dialogue uh, and also some of it got cut in the edit uh, this guy saying oh this lady seems to be in a bad mood mm -hmm. you know that voice over comes with someone mm -hmm. people are there talking so it's one of her bad days. It's not like people are like that, or it's not like uh, you know people behave like this and they're not rude. 
uh, at this level. Yeah. Of course, they can be caught and do it because they have some job to do. It's lunch hour and lunch hour in New York is a crazy time. It's mm-hmm. like that in Bombay also. Yeah. Like you know, you see people come, come some hundred dosas, so you don't have time to do um, yeah. you know casual <laughs> talk then. It was very great, I suppose, that you chose these specific countries, especially the French country. Yeah, I mean, not I, some other country. Uh, also, the reason was because uh, I know some French. I didn't learn French, so I in in right. yeah, myself. <laughs> so also, I wanted a language that I could understand and uh, right. connect with. That was also one way. And um, European for sure, because mm. again, Europeans are not very well versed with English. And uh, you're right about that. That. Um, like his approach to learning is, I need to learn it, I'm yeah. learning it, you know, right. I mean, I'm in New York, I want to yeah. probably own a hotel one day and right. be useful. But when Indians are doing it, it's from a deeper sense of fun, insecurity, a mm. complex, you know, mm. more, along with, of course, need to learn. Mm. But that's also there. But they are very proud of their own language and yeah. uh, in yeah. fact, if they had given a choice, they wouldn't even speak in English. What was, you were talking about this, this was a simple scene for you and so what was the difficult scene? <laughs> Difficult, lot of them. What <laughs> uh, seems simple is not so simple yeah, to write. Yeah. Uh, in fact, far more difficult exactly. because it can easily get into a rut and look be totally it's flat. Totally because I don't have any dramatics and uh, there's nothing yeah. that's. Uh, that's the suddenly, part. So it has been. It has been tough just writing it. That's it's it's the toughest uh, part of the filmmaking. Since Sri Devi is not a very vocal character, so sure. was that was part of that writing more challenging? Uh, the second half and uh, the second half was second a half little uh, tougher, challenging. and also the, the the graph becomes uh, very important to you know like how to uh, you know what should come when and uh, how do you drop this here and how do you bring this up here and uh, so yeah it is it it was the second half that I laboured over. Uh, what was more. your learning from it? to keep writing, there's no other way to write. <laughs> <laughs> uh, some time with that actually, I, you know, yeah, to, to yeah, a little, little bit uh, think and also like now see it in different, I've been so in it. Yes. I need that yeah. little time up. In fact, I'll, I'll notice a lot of things which I will not like for Have sure. Have you been given any kind of feedback from let's say Malki or someone else? That yeah, he gave me his feedback long back. Uh, <coughs> when I wrote the script, I showed it to him first. Uh, when I... Uh, edited my f- uh, first cut, I showed it to him. He's given his uh, inputs in both places, he loved loved it. His first reaction was that he loved uh, both the first uh, draft and the, uh, you know, the, the first cut. And um, he did give his input saying, okay, karke dekho ya wo karke. So not just him, there are two, three more people who I'm... Uh, and I had an assistant writer with me uh, who's not there through the whole process, but for the beginning and it, you know, I just needed someone to bounce ideas yeah. off and his name is, I mean, I've given him credit for that of the film and uh, because of whom I actually sat in one place <laughs> and wrote, I actually needed someone that, you know, I could uh, sit down with all on my own, I'd be getting up every five minutes and I mean, chai or doing something. So I credit him a lot for uh, actually sitting me down <laughs> and starting the writing process. Because I've never written anything it's like this before. Yeah, so you need that. And uh, with Balki, I've learned the discipline because um, he once he sits, he you know he shut everything out as in like mentally, and he's there. So uh, he gave me a lot of that gyan of <laughs> just be in one place and don't uh, move. So that happened. But again, to say a lot of credit also goes to Hemanti, my editor. Because I think the script, a uh, film happens on two tables, I say every time, writing table and editing table. Right. So, uh, the, what dimension she gave, like when I say that yes, nothing much has changed from beginning to end, yes, the main philosophy and the way it has, but the kind of uh, edit and the way, you know, story is told in a, in a more cinematic way on the edit table, yeah. you know. So, uh, what she's brought to the, uh, brought to that is also extremely uh, it's amazing and her contribution is also big yeah 
I just wish that there was a slightly longer sequence to the Michael Jackson movie. <laughs> <laughs> and I was waiting for it. That I know a lot of people is. have told me that <laughs> and that makes me think, oh shit, should I have and then I realize, no, but when you want more, then Maybe it's Shree much Devi. better than saying, achha, ye bahut zahar zahar ho gaya. <laughs> and Sri Devi is also quite commendable because she stuck to being Shashi yeah. all yeah. throughout. In fact, you couldn't see oh, Sri Devi anymore. Not even for yeah. a second. Not even with the scene with Amitabh Bachchan and because here we are as the audience, you know, here is Amitabh Bachchan, now it is Shri Devi, Shashi, she's Shashi, you know, just watching with the headphones and uh, things like Which that. Which is a huge credit to her for being that kind of actor because for a star to unlearn your uh, stardom and just be an actor is, yes. is, is something huge to be able to do that, to not um, appear as a star but yeah. the character. Did you have something to do with it as a director? She's a very intelligent, very sharp actor and um, mm, I mean of course acting skills too are very, I mean on par with I think on international level but she understands, uh, I mean at least she did because I have only this one experience with her is understood the script and the character so well that um, she didn't need to, you know, like basically, yeah, yeah. Or? She just, I mean, of course, I did and stuff and see wise we worked on it, but she got it so right and she got that pitch so right. And maybe together we helped, uh, we got, got to that pitch, but I was so clear I wanted that, and uh, she got there so well. So I think it's it's always the director and the actor together, you know, when the when it comes to uh, performance, and uh, they depend a lot on your writing. and do depend a lot on their performance exactly. to enhance your writing. So it's such exactly. a together thing where uh, yeah. I can't take credit for saying I, I made that happen. What made you think of Shri I did not think of her. While writing, who did you, you nobody. think of? Nobody. Did you think of any actor? Absolutely writing? nobody. In fact, there wasn't anyone uh, that I, I mean, even if I had to think of, I didn't feel happy about or was not satisfied. I, said, I mean, you go through a usual list of names and say, no, but this is not Shashi. And I said, okay, okay, I'll think about this later because it was writing, I didn't want to be restricted writing for an actor because then it becomes very limited. I wanted to flesh out Shashi the way I wanted and then thought that if, you know, that I would be lucky enough to find a Shashi that fit this role better. I, pref I preferred to work that way yeah. uh, because then you're writing for an actor and you're limited by their personality because of that actor. Mm -hmm. Because you already have a 40 plus character and there are very few As it is, it's limited. Your choice yeah, is limited. Exactly. So did you ever think about it that this is going to be a woman oriented story, this is going to be a 40 plus woman who may not be a film star, a popular star, uh, what are the, the why we, uh, you know, commercial viability of the films, uh, uh, those thoughts came, you must have crossed your mind, how did you tackle that? I didn't actually think of it, you know, now when people ask me is when I like, oh my god, I did. but um, my first thing was actually, um, and, and definitely it had, would have to be something interesting and entertaining. That much and responsibility and awareness uh, I feel as a, you know, I mean, um, as a filmmaker or anything. As, I mean, an, as an audience. As an audience. I mean, you know, I wouldn't want to go see a film where someone's just indulging in mm -hmm. their own art because mm -hmm. it's not. Otherwise, you can go and paint. Yeah. I mean, if you want to make films, then you have to connect with and people need to uh, want to watch it. So uh, that, of, it, it's just there inside, so I didn't need to t tackle that. But I never thought a woman-oriented film and a chafot. I didn't feel that pressure because I just, I mean, I did this idea I shared with Balki first, saying, you know, this is the idea I've got, what do you think? And he said, it's fantastic, please go ahead and write it. Mm -hmm. And I bounced it off again, mm -hmm. two, three people who I really respect. And mm -hmm. uh, I've got the same answer. Only then I started Nobody writing. Nobody ever discouraged you that this is not commercially enough. No, nothing. I think it, I just told it to the right people who would <laughs> who'd not have such a response. So then that's when I started writing. I mean, once the idea seemed interesting and uh, even I thought, Achha, chalo, this seems interesting enough to spend three years of your life on. So I wrote it and then when I started writing, I mean, it just sort of just felt like, oh, this has to be done and this will be made and it'll happen. So with just that hope and attitude, I just went ahead. So after completing only then living, we decided to pitch and uh, Balki came on board right away as a producer. He had not even thought of, uh, I think in his life that he will uh, you know, sort of be a producer because he has uh, always been a creative person. But once this film was written and um, uh, you know when he 
read that and he said, my God, this is such a, a special film and, uh, you know, just to do justice to it, uh, I think we should do it ourselves so that, uh, you know, we can, you know, tamper with the original vision of it and we do it just the way uh, I would like to do it. Because, like you said, these same doubts would have come from uh, any Another other producer saying, Hey, woman, Nikto, Pandra Salke Pa, Shri Devi, I mean, are you sure anybody wants to watch her? Yeah. You're a debut director, nobody knows right. you, uh, there's no hero, right. there's no item number, there's no violence, <laughs> there's uh, no masala. So, of course, those thoughts would have come and very valid also. Um, yeah. uh, I mean, you know, some established director doing it won't be questioned, but. So for all those reasons and because Balki felt so protective toward the script saying I want to be involved in this somehow because I really like this I mean, If so anybody else would have come to me with the script I would have wanted to So the script is what made him be a producer and uh, yeah, <laughs> So I got yeah. two very good people Balki yes. and Sri Devi too Yes, uh, the script is uh, the main reason the film has worked uh, have you always been like that in your work, uh, in your art films, if that hobby has been the focus of uh, such simplicity. Yes, because it's 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 so simple that it's bizarre. <laughs> I mean, just a little thani falling, but it's so believable. Yeah. Uh, but that's how life is. There's no yes. dramatics happening in life. It you know, um, and like somebody just the interview before this, I was doing. She was saying. So I said, I think my sur is like that. I mean, I can't think uh, in in uh, you know like. Uh, and a story like this yes. just needs that sur, which is just that pitch, which is that, which is normal, which mm. is uh, simple, like what would happen to in your life and my life. Mm. So, I mean, uh, nothing dramatic happens, no, uh, nobody yeah. comes on something and some gun comes. So, it's, it's, it's uh, actually just being, and yeah, like you asked me, that's how, um, I've uh, been and wanted to treat even on whatever films and whatever little freedom you have in advertising. Mm -hmm. Try to bring uh, that simplicity that there. Oh, a lot of the learning has actually happened on the ad films that uh, I've done because you're doing so many films. I mean, you're do it's like doing short, short films every month. Mm -hmm. So that process itself is such a great learning process. I owe a lot to my advertising career because of that. Because you're shooting, you're editing, you're completing little, little films in such a, sh you know, in a small yeah, span. Yeah. So somewhere that prepares you just technically and storytelling, just overall, yeah. overall it equips you, yeah. it equipped me uh, for that. And uh, so I had been doing this for a long time and uh, for Balki Chinikam was his, uh, uh, like his first ever experience with direction. Like I've directed ad films, he's, he's been a writer. That's why I keep saying he's, he's the real writer. And, uh, so no, not really. Yes, of course we've been involved. Uh, I've been involved in his films in terms of whatever help, input, anything. But uh, all that has been totally so his vision. Like, like the same with uh, my film, like the jazz sequence. Uh, you talked about the jazz music, then the the, the lingo and the accent and stuff. Yeah, that stuff has happened in my house and it still keeps happening. <laughs> <laughs> no, all my Marathi friends tell me that you know. Oh, exactly. This is not just my dining table. This is uh, yes, like yes. so many dining <laughs> tables in this country. <laughs> uh, so, uh, what would you tell the writers? I'm in no position to give any gyan. I'm just uh, first of all just <laughs> one film old. <laughs> but um, I don't know. I think first. I think be true to uh, your own self first before even showing anything to anyone else that whether you really really like it, ask that honest question. Do you really believe? And there is a real believer, there is one upar ka belief and one andar ka belief. You know, you may say no yeah it's nice and you'll be very, not to be egoistic also about the work, to actually see it uh, very objectively that do you, and, and also does it really connect? I mean you should first see yourself uh, as an audience. I mean, as a reactor, you know, like something I've written and then go back to it and say, really, do I really feel this? I think that's the most, that's the biggest, most honest question, to be honest to what you're doing and to what you're writing. And secondly, then to go to people who you believe in and write. I mean, to not take random advice from just anybody, but whose advice uh, you would respect or, um, you know, and uh, also just to bounce it off sometimes, just 
normal people yeah. and people you believe and who, who you trust and you get good reactions because people are intelligent i mean it's not like you have to go to only film people to get advice just uh, you know even in your home or some uncle some friend some uh, relative i don't know and you get genuine reactions from there itself so sometimes the gems come from there say are ye to achhi hai kya bakwas hai aur you know is samajh mein nahi aa ha to you get a sense of uh, where you you know sometimes when you can't judge it anymore and mm-hmm. you know then you need some right. objectivity so. yeah what next i really have no idea because uh, even with this film the way it uh, started i uh, it just happened and it was in a very organic way so i need to get back to live a normal life again and do whatever you know regular stuff and stop doing interviews <laughs> and uh, uh, <laughs> and something should come naturally i really mm. feel so yeah. no plans yes. yeah unless something is worthwhile again to spend the next three years of my life i don't want to push it uh, if nothing comes then maybe nothing will happen <laughs> <laughs>